So it appears that we have found evidence of waste, fraud, and abuse um, of Social Security. And it's surprise, surprise, it's being perpetrated by a Republican. Uh, last month, a pro-Trump activist and commentator pled guilty to one count of Social Security fraud. Now, this is according to the Palm Beach uh, Post. Karen Turk, uh, not related to the Young Turks at all, just to let you know, uh, used $17,300 in government checks that were supposed to go towards the care of her mother on her cell. Now, her mother was 83 years old, uh, now has since passed away. She was 83 years old in a nursing home with dementia. So... According to U.S. Assistant Attorney Adrian Reb, uh, Rabinowitz, instead of using that money for her mother's care, Turk used it to fund her own upscale lifestyle. Now, this is according to the Post. Quote, suspicions that Turk was using the money for herself were first raised by a caregiver at the nursing home, where Turk's 83-year-old mother was living, who asked a Palm Beach County Circuit judge to appoint a guardian to represent the woman. The court-appointed guardian then confirmed the caregiver's suspicion that she was using the money improperly. So now, what, what did she do with the money? Well, so the, this is uh, guardian Amy Nichol, right? Uh, it, she accused Turk of using the money to fund her dream of, guess what? Appearing on the Real Housewives of Palm Beach. Really? Now, the reason that she wanted to do that, apparently, was to kickstart her political career? To do a political stunt, remember, she she's a, a, a Republican activist and somebody who is very, very pro-Trump. So Nichols attorney Brian Connell accused her and her husband of renting large homes in Wellington, where they then lived, and then buying state uh, tables at equestrian events that they could not afford. What a strange way to use that money. I'm going to buy myself a table at an equestrian event. Look, all of this my guess is her way to try to uplift herself on the stage, to get attention, to get fame. Now, again, it, it, it's, I, look, being a pro-Trump activist, obviously, uh, is one way that she's going to try to get fame. Now, look, she was, uh, what was it, Miss Florida? Former Miss Florida? Again, I'd never heard of her before this, so so forgive me if I, if I get some details about her, you know, small details about her wrong. Uh, but I guess she apparently wanted to get back into the limelight really, really bad. And that involved using money that her mother needed. Uh, that they needed to take care of her mother and just to use it on herself. I mean, that's gross. Now, there's more here. Uh, Turk's husband, Evan Turk, also uh, has uh, back child support that he doesn't pay. He has to pay nearly $2,000 a month in child support. And in October, it was shown that he has back child support that he owes uh, to the amount of $32,500. So dead be dead. Wonderful. Not only is the wife taking from her mom, but the husband is a bum. You can talk about Republican family values. Now, again, I never heard of her before, so I had to look her up, and I already regret it, uh, because Right Wing Watch pointed out that Turk was a frequent guest on pro-Trump commentator Bill Mitchell's Your Voice America program. So guess what she said about Democrats? She called them, quote, domestic terrorists. During the whole Kavanaugh um, confirmation fight, she said that the sexual assault allocations against both Trump and Kavanaugh were bogus because both were, quote, unattractive. She sounds like a real winner there, guys. No wonder she was attracted to the pro-Trump circuit. Again, she, she wanted to make money. But instead, she's going to lose money. In fact, Turk, for this uh, crime of Social Security fraud, faces a maximum one-year term in prison and a $100,000 fine. Now, she will get uh, sentenced on December 13th. So, look, I, I don't know about you, but... I think it's just fair to say that, hey, if you defraud, you know, the government, which is funny, uh, defraud the government willingly in order to boost yourself up, 
Well, you should get the maximum. Lock her up. Lock her up. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? Taste the schadenfreude. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.